door. Welcome. What's up, Sherry? <laughs> Come on into our kitchen. You, you fooled me. I know, I was hiding. I was wondering where <laughs> so you were. I remembered I needed a spatula. A spatula? Yeah. What in the heck is going on here? Well, we are going to make us a breakfast casserole for supper. Also known as? Christmas casserole. We like to call it Christmas casserole here. Yes, this is actually a dish that I will make the night before Christmas and then bake it the next morning. So this is a great recipe. You can make it in advance or you can make it tonight, bake it and eat it. Very easy. It's easy. So for this recipe, all you need is a pound of sausage. Okay, that's already fried. Okay. Yep. We're gonna need some salt, ground mustard, eggs, cheese, uh, bread, mm -hmm. and some milk, and the hot sauce is optional. I see. So. Well, that's not a bad looking uh, ingredient list. No, no, fairly easy. So this is, like I said, great for you to make the night before. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you will combine everything, and then instead of putting it in the oven, you'll just put full over and put it in the refrigerator if you're gonna bake it the next day. But tonight, we're gonna have it for supper. Mm -hmm. So you do wanna make sure you have a 13 by nine pan and you spray it. It's a very quick, easy dish. Gonna to go together really fast. Do you want me to start doing anything? Um, not yet. I'm going to first cube up our bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you got to cube it. I don't know why I was thinking that, uh, how you should just lay it in the bottom. I guess you could. I just always have cubed it. Okay. So it's four pieces of bread. Five. Oh, okay. Five pieces of bread, four eggs, sausage, cheese. Man, it's an easy recipe. Yep. And if you got anything else, I mean, this is also one of those recipes you can add anything you have around the house. Mm. Make it your own. You know, ham would be good in that, too. Yep, you had some ham. I think we had bacon, too, we crumbled up into it one yep, time. Yep. Already cooked, though. You Leftover. Know. Bake anything sitting around. All right, so you have your bread cubed up here. Mm -hmm. This is really good too. You know, if you have that bread that's getting stale and you don't want to eat it on a sandwich, you could use it for this. Mm, that's a good idea. I'm very picky. See, uh, that is a good idea. And then now you would distribute your sausage. Okay, you want me to do that? Yeah, if you want to. I can tell you what to do. All right. Distribute the sausage. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me? And I'm not going to give Sherry any sausage on her half. Hey. And technically the sausage will distribute kind of on its own when we pour the liquid in. Sort of. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. That delicious sausage grease, folks. You don't have to get the grease in there. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. Looks pretty good distributed. Now you can distribute our cheese. Alright. Which calls for about three cups of grated cheese, whatever you have. This might be a little under three might cups. A little but, under. But we're going to go with it because. If, it, if you need more, then I can always shred it. I think, uh, I don't think we'll need it. This is your cheddar cheese. I mean, granny, you know, whatever cheese you have or you like, you can use. Mm -hmm. Are you hot saucing this, or is it going in the eggs? It will go in our wet mixture. Okay. Well, that is looking very delicious already. I think we're pretty good on cheese, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the cheese. Alrighty, cheesy. So now we'll make our wet mixture. All right. So it's gonna be four eggs. Four eggs. And through the magic of 
Television. Television. There's already four eggs in there. You're going to do two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. And this doesn't have to be 100% accurate. If there were a little light on the milk, that'd be okay, right? Yeah. This is just more of your binder. So. As, uh, this one, we're going to hot sauce it. This is where you'll hot sauce. If you want to add that little bit of kick. A little kick to it. And we're, we're, not, we're not sponsored by Valentino, but by golly, that's some good hot sauce. Teaspoon of salt. Don't want to go too much on the salt. And you're going to do a teaspoon of ground mustard. That's weird. It adds a little special flavor, though. It does. It's one of those that I've always added it because it said. It's part of the recipe. Part of the recipe. Is that a teaspoon? Not full. You go a little heavy with it. I don't think it'll hurt. Now this is where you're going to hot sauce it up. Here, trade with me. I'll, Ooh. I'll be the hot sauce guy. I'll be honest, he always hot sauces and I don't see it and I always like it. So we, uh, we trust his judgment. Is that a rabbit over there, Sherry? I don't see it. Where is it at? I just put two drops. It's just two drops. Smell a little hot sauce. I don't think we'll go anymore because I'm afraid to uh, spice sherry up too much. So that's so, really all you add to your wet mixture. You want to go ahead and pour yep, it? Yep, you're gonna pour it over this. And if they wanted it to be a little more eggy, they could add an extra egg. To make it more quiche-like, I guess. There's really no wrong way to do this. No. Now we at this point, for Christmas, I would go ahead and put foil over this. Granted, you want to make sure your sauce is just cool. And then I put the foil over it and put this in the fridge. And then in the morning when I'd get up, you would turn your oven on to preheat. And you would put this in at that time so it would warm up as your oven gets warm. But since we're going to actually cook this tonight, we're going to go ahead and turn on the oven. And I got to check. We are going to do this at 350. 350 for one hour. Look at that. Kind of wish we already had the oven preheated. Yeah. I tell you, you put this together really fast. Yeah. I forgot how fast. It went together so fast we had forgot to preheat the oven. So we're going to go ahead and wash dishes and then put it in the oven. So we'll be back, folks. Action. Boom. What's up, Sherry? I wonder what's smelling so good in oh here. Oh my gosh, it's smelling so good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Well, that is not bad at all. Sit that right there. Gonna turn the oven off. So that cooked about 40 minutes. It usually takes an hour when it, you're having to cook it from being cold. Okay, so an hour from cold and 40 from hot-ish. Yeah. You see that bubbling grease there? It's steaming. Man, that is good. Would you like some of this? Look at that bread. Mmm. This is going to be our best one ever. You think? Yes. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Whew. Pretty tasty. I was trying to get us a plate out here so the camera might have went wobbly. Just going to go ahead and cut us across. Cut myself just a little corner. Guys, you can cut this big or small, whatever. I'm gonna have to get me an assistance fork, I think. Hmm. Well, here it goes. Oh, lordy! Look at that beauty. 
Boy, that that definitely looks good. You, should we show them how we eat ours? I think we should. This is how we eat ours. Where is it? Uh, it should be. What's the secret ingredient, y'all? Y'all guess. I ain't gonna tell you. His pancake syrup. You drizzle just a little bit on there. And it makes it so good, y'all. Highly recommend. And Even you can if go. Y'all grew up on breakfast casseroles, put you some little bit. Of you can go as heavy or as light as you want. It's gonna give a little sweetness to it, and we're going in. Going in, brave. And when that syrup hits the uh, hot casserole, oh my gosh, the kitchen smells incredible right now. It did. It was so hard just to sit here. So imagine Christmas morning waking up smelling that. Oh, that's very hot. <laughs> You're regretting that decision. That's funny. It did just come out of a 350 degree mm. oven. Mmm. But it is delicious, folks. Oh my goodness. That was so good. Don't eat it that fast, though. But it's very good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well... I hope y'all like this recipe. Like I said, you know, make it this way and then make it your own. Try a bite of it without syrup and then try a little bite with syrup. And you're gonna say, boy, that Jason was right. Syrup made it a little better. Bye. If you like. Don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we upload videos also. And Follow us on Facebook, The Christmas Couple. Oh, yeah. We're on Facebook. Boom. Bye. Bye.